So a few days ago, GitHub has launched the GitHub Copilot, which has gained a lot of traction on various social platforms. Many have even raised questions as to whether this technology will render existing programmers or human programmers to be extinct. In this video, we're going to be talking about the GitHub Copilot, and I'll also provide my own opinion on this exciting technology and its potential impact. And without further ado, we're starting right now. So in this front page of the GitHub Copilot, you're going to see that it has several example codes. And the exciting part about the GitHub Copilot is that it will be able to generate code in various languages as shown here, such as Go and Python and also Ruby. So the thing is, you could write down your comment like here, as shown in the example, and then the GitHub Copilot will then automatically generate the code shown here, shown in blue. So the green part here is the comment that you write down. And based on this comment, it will automatically generate this. And the underlying technology is based on OpenAI's Codex algorithm. And the Codex algorithm from OpenAI is a descendant of the GPT-3. And so GPT-3 is trained on the entire contents of the internet and it contains more than 175 billion parameters and some people even said that gpt3 could generate english language that rivals a human being and so the codex from openai was trained on the entire github and it was mentioned that 0.1 percent are verbatim code that are exactly from the training set whereas 99.9 percent .9 will be original code that that is generated by the algorithm. And so let's scroll down and look at some more examples. So as already mentioned, it's trained on billions of lines of code available on GitHub. And the example shown above was in Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, Ruby, and Go. And it's mentioned that it is also able to recognize and understand dozens of languages as well. And an important point to note here is that the technology of GitHub Copilot will be available as a plugin inside the Visual Studio code. And so you can sign up for this at the link above here. You could sign up for it and then you could take your usage of VS Code and then agree to this and then join the waitlist. So I have already joined on my other account of Data Professor and so still waiting for that. And so typically the pair programming is a situation where you have two programmers who will cross check one another for potential coding errors. And so the Copilot is an AI based pair programmer and so therefore one of them is virtual while the other could be you right so instead of having another friend you would have another ai which is virtual to help suggest the code let's have a look at this example so it's mentioned here that it is more than an autocomplete and it's because this algorithm called codex will analyze your code and based on the context and also based on the doc string or the comments that you have included in your code as shown here it will generate the code to match the instructions provided in the comments shown here the copilot code is generated in blue based on your comment and also the name of the function that you're providing so this is the context which will provide it for the algorithm to make its code prediction let's have a look further and so you could even try out the different languages here and as mentioned it will convert the comments to the code and another awesome functionality is that it's not only autocomplete but you could show it you could teach it by providing a couple of lines and then it will learn the pattern and it, it will autocomplete the rest for you automatically right like here you're going to provide the start and end for the two languages here and then afterward it will autocomplete for you for the other languages so you could teach it like shown here and then upon teaching it you will see that the copilot will generate the code for you pretty awesome and this is the use of copilot for suggesting tests for your code and what about alternatives like when it generates the code for you it could also provide you alternative code as well and probably here you could click on the next next or previous and it will provide you an alternative code prediction and if you like it you can just accept it right pretty awesome stuff code confidently in unfamiliar territory okay so this will also come in handy when you get a rough understanding of the general high level view of a particular library and with the use of copilot you could use it more efficiently 
like in this example, it is for fetching some tweets and you define the name of the functionality and you just import the library tweetpy and then it will do the rest for you, right? So you just name the function fetch tweets from user and afterward, it's going to predict that you want to fetch the tweets from the user. And so it's going to predict the code for you. Or how about drawing a scatter plot here? You just type in two lines here, right? Import the library and then you just name the, the variable draw scatter plot for this this is for the javascript and for python similar concept you just create a function called draw scatter plot and then based on that context it knows that you want to use matplotlib because you have already imported it and then it knows that you want to draw a scatter plot because that is the name of your custom function and therefore it's going to predict everything else for you by making a scatter plot for you memo and good reads rating so very handy these are some testimonials. And so under the hood, this is how the Google Copilot is working. And so it is using the OpenAI Codex algorithm. And this is based on the training data from GitHub code. And so there are billions of lines of code here and they're coming from different languages. And the Copilot will reside in the Visual Studio code as an extension. And as you type in your code, it will provide you suggestion. And then your usage will provide suggestion for improvement of the Copilot. So it will iteratively become better and better with more people using it. Okay, and so these are some FAQ if you would like to read some more. And the link is to sign up for this technical preview. And so why don't you give it a try and let me know how it goes. And if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And as always, happy coding.